using you look your age as an insult is weird. Like, yeah, I hope I do look my age. I'm proud of myself. I like myself. So sue me. Is that a bad thing? Shouldn't we be encouraging other women to like themselves at the very least? Hey Frugivore, welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So today's video was requested by Justin AJ. And Justin, I do notice your supportive comments over the years, thank you so much. Justin requested a video that I make a video addressing unnatural vegans comments about ageism, beauty standards, being fit. And I actually thought about doing this video myself because this comment that she left, not only was it body shaming me, it's just ageist as well. There's, it's, ugh. It has this misogynistic, like, ageist feel to it, right? And, um, and the part I'm talking about is this, uh, talking about my age. Her face and hair look pretty good for 40 plus. She would hate to, hate to hear it, but she looks like a fit 40 year old. Not sure how long that will last though. Low body fat and aging really don't mix. And I'm like, wow, this really needs to be addressed because this just highlights a real issue in this society for females, for aging females. Like we're all aging, right? <laughs> we are all aging. And just to pretend that we should, uh, we should all be kind of like childlike forever and just static and not change is really strange. And it's obviously to do with this whole Botox society, right? This Hollywood... Um, you know, just perpetuating this myth that women, that females don't age and that we shouldn't age. And if we do, there's something wrong with us and we are just gross, basically. So I want to talk about that. But firstly, I just wanted to quickly address um, what a couple of, I saw a couple of comments saying, oh, well, she apologized. So you should be happy. I should have said from the beginning, I'm really sorry for you if you're watching this, if I hurt your feelings or if I offended you about the last, like the body shaming comments in the last video. And I just want to highlight the fact that she didn't apologize here. For example, saying, I'm sorry you feel that way to someone who has been offended by a statement is a non-apology apology. And this is what I agree with. It does not admit that there was anything wrong with the remarks made and may imply the person took offense for hypersensitive or irrational reasons. Yes, I'm sorry if I offended you. This is an example. This is exactly what Swayze said, I'm sorry if I offended you. This is an example of a conditional apology that doesn't truly acknowledge any remorse or personal responsibility by using the word if you are communicating that the problem isn't really about what you did, but is about how the person reacted to what you did instead. And I said that in the video about her essentially victim blaming not taking responsibility for body shaming me. So I just wanted to round that up. You know, nothing undercuts sincerity like the conditional if does. And that's exactly what she did. She put the if it wasn't a real apology. So I wanted to just like, I took these still frames from a recent video I did. I made this video the other day and um, I posted it up and I thought I'm going to pan in and you can see some wrinkles here. All right. So I'm 42 in September and I want to show you that, yes, you do age as you get older. This is a real thing. You can see I have wrinkle around my mouth, uh, jawline sagging a bit. I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like one of these hate channels They're not really hate channels. They're very obsessed. Obviously, you know, who pan right in and they're like, look, she has a wrinkle. Look, she has freckles. Look, oh, gosh, she's aging. How horrible. <laughs> And the, the fact is, we're all going to be 42 at some point. We're all going to, we're all aging and it needs to be embraced. You know, hairline, you know, moving about, back a bit, wrinkles in the forehead. And, you know, when I, when I smile, you know, there's, there's wrinkles around my eyes. Isn't that terrible? No, it's not. It's not terrible. But what is terrible is comments like this. And so I asked on Instagram, I asked on Instagram for your feedback on these comments to hear what you thought about them. And I felt I got some interesting comments, a lot of very insightful comments. I couldn't share them all. I can't share them all. So many. OK, so I just wanted to, yeah, get your your feelings because I do care about uh, my audience and you make a lot of great points. So look, this one was from an individual who said in response to not sure how long that will last low fat uh low low body fat and aging really don't mix 
And this individual said, low body fat and aging actually mix really well if you're trying to stay alive, live an active life and avoid cancer, heart disease, diabetes, etc. Where does she get this stuff? Also, imagine thinking that looking younger, whatever that means, I've been stumped by many times by people's age in both directions, is more important than being healthy. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for standing up and modeling a truly healthy vegan lifestyle over the much easier to swallow corporate franken food diet for, that certain people promote. That's a great comment and I ho wholeheartedly agree with that. The Another one, saw a wrinkle cream advert. Saw a wrinkle cre cream advert, sorry, commercial while watching, what did I say advert, but whatever, same thing, um, at a... a T TV at a family member's house and said, who would really pay for that crap? To which my mother-in-law responded, well, us older women still want to look beautiful in our old age. So the insinuation here is that no woman with wrinkles is beautiful, just terrible. And this is the world that we're, we're growing into, we're growing up in, right? It's the internet has taken over and the marketing is just crazy and trying to keep us childlike forever right? No fur on our bodies, no wrinkles. We've got to look like we're 20 or I'm sorry, like even younger, maybe 12 for the rest of our lives. And yeah, obviously this is really sad. And I, may, I wrote a book. A lot of you know, I wrote a book, My Naked Lunchbox. So I have a little excerpt from my book. I can't really say some of the words in this because YouTube won't like it, but um, you know, the whole focus on femininity and girlishness and the fact that like in our culture women are forbidden from aging wrinkles sagging skin and maturity ble blemishes are ugly and not part of femininity advertisers advertisers psychologically bully us into spending our hard-earned time and money trying to stay childlike forever no hair on our bodies big bright doe eyes uh, baby smooth skin uh, you know, the Western woman spends most of her life craving attention and struggling to appear younger than she is until one day the culture judges her too old to matter and then she becomes invisible. I talk all about this in My Naked Lunchbox and I recommend you check it out because it's changing lives, it's getting amazing reviews, it's bringing this to the forefront, you know, this, this issue that we need to speak about. We are allowed to age and these are some of the comments maybe this is under the impression that you're not okay with looking 40 by saying how you'd hate to hear it and that's what it does seem like right that I have no problem with looking 40 <laughs> or 40 plus it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter as long as I'm healthy and like I show my body and my face and everything proudly because why not I'm showing the results I'm proud of myself I like myself so sue me is that a bad thing Shouldn't we be encouraging other women to like themselves at the very least? You know, especially coming from hating myself. I mean, I don't hate to hear that I look like a fit 40 year old. I don't hate that. I, like, the fact is, I do get people saying in person and online often that I look younger than my age. That's just the truth. I'm not out there saying like, look how young I look or anything like that. But she seems like I'm... She seems to think that that's what I'm doing and she wants to kind of bring me down. That's what it seems like. Envy, simple, because you look young, look and feel young. This annoys me. Why can't we accept and embrace getting older? Aging is beautiful. Yes. This Botox makeup society has made people forget what truly aging gracefully means. We are conditioned to accept the trillion dollar beauty industry standard because of money. Exactly. And um, great comment from Yes Be Vegan. I love this woman. She is just so insightful. Number one, uh, men and young women don't like women to talk about how freeing it is to get to an age where being less visible is actually a blessing. And that is actually true. I think that is, that is definitely a blessing that with youth comes so much um, pressure, basically, of being a young, hot thing. But there, there's a missing one here. It's number three, but I couldn't find it. People have absorb the algorithm yes uh miss manda i'm over it i have literally developed an underlying fear of getting old and i get angry if people say stuff yeah 
Well, see, that's the thing. Like this fear that the the corporation wants you to be fearful. So you go out there and you get the Botox, you get the um, the filler, you, you wear all the makeup. And I've been through a lot of these situations myself. Okay, I've been through this pressure. I know. I, I you know, it's just it's really, really sad. It's very sad that we feel this. Uh, it becomes a norm for many to believe old equals disease, pain, not happy and pain free. And it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, 99% of the time, ageist comments are directed at women. It is true. It's typical patriarchy. It, it is absolutely true. You know, when men, when they age, they're like celebrated getting the, those like character lines. But women are like, oh, you got to go and get rid of those ugly wrinkles. You are looking your age. You know, society has forgotten what a healthy body looks like. Uh, there's jealousy there probably has more to do with how she feels about aging than how she thinks you feel about it. When people comment on ce celebrity, she's not aging. It's not natural. Heard of Botox? Yeah, exactly. I know we see this all the time, like with Gwen Stefani types, they kind of look the same as what they did when they were 20. And it's just weird. It is weird. Let's call it what it is. You know, elders should be celebrated. Aging should be celebrated. You're getting older, you're getting wiser, hopefully. Um, ages comments. Oh, yeah. She acts like it's bad, a bad thing to look your age. Yeah, Swayze. It's not a bad thing to look your age. But it's like she's trying to insult me for looking my age because she, she believes that I don't think I look my age. It's okay. Like... It's all right to have wrinkles. It's all right to age. Obviously, just look after yourself. Be healthy. Let's focus on the health. Like what she said in the video that I highlighted before. Focus on your health. Why is it not okay for women to age? I think we should embrace it. I don't hear the same about men. Yes, absolutely. When do you hear it about men? And I speak a lot about this in my, my Naked Lunchbox a lot. So rude and reeking with internalized misogyny. <laughs> You know, it's starting to feel that way, isn't it? I'd rather look my age and be in the top 0.1 percentile in terms of fitness level, health and sex appeal. <laughs> then why? Fitness level, health, exactly. Exactly. That is way more important. I'm 40 and you are the reason I'm okay with that. I look it and that's okay. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I think she's just trying to feel better about herself by making downward comparisons. Yes, feels like that. She means you look your age, insinuating not younger, as it may have been implied. That's right. And it kind of feels like she wants to bring me down. You know, she, she wants me to feel bad about myself. And I find that really disturbing. I find that very sad. I don't want to say this word here, but it's, you know what? To hold adult females to a standard to look young. Why are males allowed to age, but not us? Yes. But for sure, lifestyle is what makes your aging with quality. Yep. The patriarchy pins women against women. Yep. And pressures them to never age. People need to start realizing that aging is normal and beautiful. Yes, it is. But for sure, lifestyle is what makes your aging and quality. Yep. Wow, her comment was pretty sad. I mean, what's wrong with 40? <laughs> you can be beautiful any age. They are misogynistic. You can see the patriarchy has her blinded. She's definitely... You can see her comment is a victim. She's uh, suffering from uh, marketing, right? The marketing has got to her. All these Hollywoods with the Botox face, faces, it has got to her. All the makeup, you know, she doesn't realize what a, you know, a wild, natural human face kind of looks like anymore, it seems. Age is a gift. Being gift, being, sorry, fit at an older age is a goal. They're clueless, so much affects aging, like my thyroid issue, issue, just embrace the honor, yes. Using you look your age as an insult is weird, like yeah, I hope I do look my age. <laughs> True, honestly looking way younger than your real age does not look good and it's overrated, that's something to, that is something to look into, that's something to think about. It's a patriarchy making us believe that women are over 29 are worthless and unattractive, yes. Ad homs are just what trolls use to get, try to get an emotional response. True. People can't handle a woman in her prime, clearly. 
sexist because no man is ever expected to look younger than his age. Brainwashed by the toxic and sexist beauty industry. This annoys me. Why can't we accept and embrace getting older? Aging is beautiful. She's jealous of your body and your looks. Brainwa yeah, she's afraid of aging herself. Yeah, she must be afraid of aging if she highlights this. She's just reflecting her insecurities on others. Ignore them. Yeah, you already hit the nail on the head with your explanation of why humans, especially women, are, are so afraid of aging in your book, My Naked Lunchbox. And definitely check that out. I think it's going to make you feel like so empowered. I don't think you look 40 years old. You look way younger and fitter than some 30 year olds. Thank you. How, how you look is nobody else's business. It's absolutely okay to look your age. However, in no way do you look your age. So yeah, there's a lot of these comments. Thank you. I found them very insightful, a lot of them and interesting. And there's a lot more too. So yeah, you can keep looking at these. Since when did it become so bad to look your age? <laughs> Society needs to become more comfortable with aging. What isn't okay is surgery and Botox. This is true. It's just a cheap stab because she thinks you want people to think you look young. And I don't. I don't. I really, really don't. I'm showing the results of eating healthy and I feel good about myself. I feel good. Is that a, is that, so sue me. Is that a bad thing? Should we be feeling other, we're making other females feel bad about feeling good and being healthy and promoting something that is very healthy? Nothing wrong with being a fit 40 year old. How is that a bad thing? See, everyone gets the feeling that she's trying to make me feel bad, that she was trying to bring me down a notch and like, huh, you don't look too good. I mean, like you don't look younger. You look okay for your age. Like don't get too excited. Don't be too proud of yourself. I'm 55 and people always say I look good for my age. What am I supposed to look like? Yes. What am I supposed to look like? Yeah. All right. This is a little bit of a disjointed video, like not the usual kind of organized, but I just wanted to highlight this because this comment is just, ah, uh, why? I, I feel, I feel for her as well that she, she worries about this stuff. You know, she, that she worries so much, not sure how long that will last. And then what I'm going to be just discarded and just look disgusting and be ugly. I don't know, you know, if I, if I get more wrinkles, am I going to be w worthless in this society? That's what she's kind of implying. So anyway, <laughs> that's my video. Let me know what, what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear it because I think we need to highlight and call out these ageist comments and for what they are. They, they're ageist and they're in insulting and shaming and they're not allowing females to age. We are wild animals, you know, we, we age, it's normal. We're all getting older. So yeah, we need to be okay with that. All right. Don't forget to go through yourself and I'll talk to you soon.